Now, I don't know why haters be telling me to mind my business when they're out here not minding theirs. Shut your mouth and enjoy the tea. We all know you're here for it, sis. <laughs> hey, ninjas. How are you guys doing? It's a girl. I'm Shungwane, a.k.a. Miss Fair for Color. But I'm back for entertainment. If it's a first time joining me, you're most definitely welcome. Please do subscribe. And of course, the bell. I absolutely love you. Now, y'all saw by that title that it is a relationship uh advice kind of video you guys wanted me to do this and of course after the hoodie and cypher saga and i saw i was like wow my ninjas are going through the most uh let's go ahead and just talk about this shende as ladies let's help each other now of course if you do not know me i am married and i've been with my husband's gonna be eight years next month i still cannot believe time flies boom boom okay so i am happily married married and i'm super super proud of the fact i know that people that say marriage is not an accomplishment and i do agree with that but i do believe a happy marriage is an accomplishment a huge one because it's not everyone that is in a happy marriage and we that are in happy marriages we work hard for this ish do you see that time i'm recording now i had to give my man some time you know consequences are the things that we need to actually do to keep a happy marriage so <laughs> yeah anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you guys like my true opinion. I mean what works for me may not work for everyone I'm not a relationship expert, but I mean I've done certain things that have worked for me Mugai has never cheated. I've never cheated on my husband either So I mean, you know, I have to have done something right right to actually get someone <laughs> like that and you know everything like that so let's go ahead and uh, start with this uh, video. I obviously got the questions from Instagram, you guys. I didn't put on YouTube because um, I got so many questions from Instagram. The video was going to be too long. So uh, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and uh, uh, ask in this video. And maybe we can do a part two if you guys want that. So let's go ahead and start. The first question says, what do you think about couples staying together before marriage? So I'm going to be very fast, you guys. And the person uh, in brackets said, from Christian perspective, oh, I'm also not going to say who sent me so that you guys can obviously stay anonymous so that everyone can be comfortable to ask whenever we do this kind of videos ah uh, so obviously when you say from a christian perspective i would definitely say of course you know the answer is no because when you stay together you're gonna chow each other okay and that's fornication boom boom okay sex before marriage is a sin and so you know christian wise obviously the answer is no the next one says how do you maintain balance when you are more uh, economically emancipated than your partner guys next time please just use like plain english okay i'm not an english teacher out here what are you talking about are you talking about like financially um if it's a matter of like financially maybe you make more money than you may i don't know because i don't have time to really google this i know someone will be like you're so dumb thank you <laughs> but if you are maybe in a relationship where you make more money than your man i feel it's very much important to still make your man full he is still the man in the relationship so i would obviously advise that you guys have one savings account so if let's say maybe he makes five thousand rands you make let's say fifteen thousand rands uh maybe your pocket money you agree his pocket money is one thousand yours is two thousand because obviously ladies need more um then the four thousand is going into the savings account uh and then like your thirteen thousand is also going into the savings account you guys pay the bills together so that he will also feel like within that money his money is also in there so that's the advice that i would definitely uh give you guys because at the end of the day you don't want to make your man feel like he's not man enough just because he doesn't make enough money uh, as much money as you do well obviously like in 2019 so we're no, uh, not in 19 oh anymore you know it's very normal so you know you just need to be careful you know and obviously you don't need to like bruise his ego when it comes to that certain situation that's the advice i would definitely give the next one says what does christian dating mean to you i'd say christian dating means uh to me means uh you do everything by the bible so if the bible says do not fornicate you do not fornicate if the bible says you do this you do not do that so obviously i think you would both have to be christians right uh i wouldn't know much about that because when i was still dating i wasn't a christian like that you guys i was a drunkard so y'all already know my story uh the next one says wow can't 
can't wait for it hey you just like hearing people's uh, news <laughs> the next one says how do you know if he's the one wow this one i feel is very complicated because uh the things i love may not be the things that you love but i feel like in in the most i'll give you guys like an example of how i knew my husband was the one the fact that my happiness me as a person i come first even before my husband and my husband's happiness honestly is what made me say you're definitely the one and i was not wrong um i'm number one with my husband the same way he's number one with me but he became my number one after he made me his number one so at this moment you guys I'm, i'll go ahead and just tell you like there was a, a time with like that with some problems you know how family in laws would be and everything and as quiet as my husband is you guys know my husband is very respectful uh he's quiet and all that my husband will respect you until you disrespect his wife does not care who you are um, his wife comes first and obviously I saw those tricks in him even when we were still in uni when we started dating like you, he would move heaven and earth for me you guys like if he had a hundred bucks he would give me a hundred bucks and he wouldn't even have anything like honestly that is the kind of person that he was and he wouldn't do that if he didn't really love me so if your man puts you first even before himself he might be the one for you okay so i think that would be a short answer sort of i think this question would actually need to go in depth if you guys want that you can go ahead and comment down below and of course i can do that for you the next one says um hi sis owami what does one do if they're in a relationship with a person who never expresses their feelings uh at most times you guys men are not too good with expressing their feelings so you do need to teach your man to express his feelings um i remember also when i started to meet my husband we started dating uh he wasn't someone that would express his feelings you guys especially because obviously you guys see my husband's very like quiet and stuff it used to be like that thing of like why didn't you express your feelings like it just be down i wouldn't really know what is it uh but you know as time went on obviously i learned the kind of person that he is so you can look at my husband you wouldn't know like is he angry is he happy or if he's angry you will know but like you wouldn't know if he's sad if he's happy his level of happiness but me as his wife now I know like just by looking at him he looks at me through his eyes I will know okay he's hurt or you know he's stressed or he's happy his level of happiness is here and so uh, obviously as time went I did learn to he, he did learn to open up because I was also gentle with him like the last thing you want is someone that is not good with expressing their feelings for you to attack them to express the feelings so what you need to do is obviously you need to come down uh usually if you want your man to open uh up to you girl use that bedroom for some good shoes okay like after y'all done done the deed you know you're relaxing out there it's the time that i find men are mostly vulnerable so you can go ahead and just you know can be sleeping on his chest you know playing with with him you know and ask certain questions that you want and nicely so so I, men are like kids you guys you need to go like slowly and easy and if he opens up like with something uh small today like go ahead and praise him for that like thank you so much honey i know it's not easy for you but thank you for trusting me i love you so much it means the world to me then because of that treatment you give him it will make him want to open up more to you so you need to remember that like men are like kids honestly and you should be like a baby child <laughs> so the next one says um i've had a crush on this guy forever a year but he doesn't seem to notice me what do i do Bobo, i'm so sorry oh my gosh if you are just looking for a fling go ahead my girl and enjoy yourself it's very rare that if you go to a man a man will say no especially if he's single and so i i find it like in that thing of i'm very traditional i guess like in that way i believe if a man really really wants you he will come for you men always go for what they want but if you go to him and you start up then you know you'll be like oh free meat <laughs> he's gonna want a child but he will be like with you when he's actually searching for his one so you need to understand that if you actually start 
um you do risk that you know whole thing of you you may get heartbroken uh but if you're gonna go to him just make sure that you don't fall in love have fun that's it and use protection because the last thing you want is them sicknesses out here <laughs> that's all i'm going to say um the next one says um oh okay so it's a continuation from the feelings um Oh, so she says never expresses their feelings or how much you mean to them in person but only in text so I guess this one is actually like linking from the one before this one of the crash if a man never expresses how much you mean to him then maybe you don't mean as much to him I feel like even though someone has difficulties opening up about themselves they should not have difficulties expressing how much they love you and when you say that he only does so through text how do you know that maybe he didn't just copy and paste like something from someone and he's sending you and you're like oh he expresses himself via text and everything um but I think it's something that you can go ahead and sit down and talk to him that I'm not comfortable but the fact that we only express this via text i would like for you to like show appreciation to me and everything like that i think communication is the best key you guys like just communicate with your partner and uh, you will see that things actually go really really well as much as we drag those conversations because they may be downing at times but they're very much important uh so the next one says how does one know that he is the one i have already answered that the next one says um did you date anyone else before your husband oh my gosh do you look at me and you think i'm just some angel boo boo of course yes <laughs> i have okay and i made so many mistakes um and i beat myself up sometimes not anymore but i used to but i've forgiven myself so i'm fine now but yeah i've dated before my husband of course uh this one says did you ever have a troublesome ex-boyfriend how did you move past that yes i have the one that i had before my husband um honestly with me you guys i moved in with my husband like <laughs> But then again, it's not everyone that is going to accept their new man's proposals like seven days after they just broke up with an ex. Um, it was that thing of like, I saw it him so much, you guys. We fought, he also like wanted me back and stuff, and it was crazy. So, I, like, the way that I actually saw at him was like, when I find you, I'm going to beat you to pop. And I, like, I really truly really believe that he was going to come. It was very rough. And so, you know, I, I was looking for a place like fast because I was staying out of the campus. Um, so I was looking for a place and I wanted to go to Nessie's home. So when I was busy doing that process, my husband was like, well, since you're looking for a place desperately, why don't you just move in with me? I moved in with my husband and uh, obviously was still my boyfriend at that time. We were not even engaged. And when we stayed together, you guys, like when I, I got a room and I had to move, I remember like my husband just sat on the bed and he looked at me and he was like, baby, why don't you just stay with me? And of course I wanted to. I was also going to be saving my money. I was like yes boo i continued staying with him so obviously it's not everyone that uh, will have that i would say if you've got a troublesome ex um if you have an older brother go ahead and talk to your older brother maybe if you're not comfortable talking to your parents obviously um and if you don't have an older brother i feel if you are afraid that he is like dangerous you can go ahead and go to the police like they will uh help you they may hit on you but they will help you okay so the next one says do you have kids if yes how many i actually have one nephew you guys and he's my son so i do not have any biological kids yet but um i'm gonna have my first kids with my husband my husband's gonna have his first kids with me so it all worked out perfectly the next one says um my recent ex is sticking around and i want to move on without feeling guilty he's still in love i need advice now the first question i'll ask why did you break up with him if it's a mental he cheated he does not love you he's just out there trying to test this water so he's gonna still cheat on you again if you feel you're bad enough with this person boo boo go ahead and cut all communication and move the heck on everybody got time to uh, waste time in 2019 we are so close to 20 20 that like legit you know you can't even afford someone wasting your time so go ahead and cut all communications and move on with your life the next one says hey how are me so i'm i said to meet my boyfriend's family officially i don't know what to wear or how to act 
Boo boo, first of all, congratulations on meeting them a devilish in love. I'm kidding. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> um, the advice I would definitely give you would be that be yourself from the get-go. The last thing you want is if maybe you're someone that's very loud, they now see you as someone that is quiet when you enter the family. They're like, well, oh my god, it was not like this. You do not want that. So if you're loud, you know, just be yourself so that they know what they're actually going to get. Um, because sometimes you guys, I'm not even going to lie, these in-laws will be testing you from Cape to Cairo. Okay, so go ahead and just make sure that they know that you know if you're Miss Fear Foco, you're Miss Fear Foco. If you are, you know, whoever you are, like just be yourself. But obviously, I know you will be nervous. And as of dressing, just dress your normal clothes. Like, okay, you may not maybe wear shorts and stuff. I don't think there's a necessity for you to be wearing hats. But if you want to go ahead and do that, you can go ahead and do that. Just dress presentably. Um, but don't sell them the person you're not because then you're going to have a problem when you enter the family because you will have to live to the standard that you actually came in with. You see like it's just like with my youtube channel you guys know I misspell I can't pronounce uh, uh, Certain words. I can't do anything and you guys like you don't have any expectations with me now Imagine if I came here and pretended to be the English professor anytime I say a word like blah You'll be like oh I mean. <laughs> So zero expectations works boom boom k okay? works uh, The next question says uh, Do you believe that if someone is meant for you they will find their way to you? Yes and no. Honestly, I feel like they may find their way to you, but if you're dumb, you won't see them even when they've already found their way to you. So I do feel they they will for sure like your path will definitely meet. But if you are a stupid person that cannot even see the one and you're going to make the one your friend and constantly be dating this playboys, breaking your heart, crying on the shoulders of your one not knowing is the one so you know your stupidity might cost you your one but i do believe at one point or another you will definitely cross path but um whether if you guys will be together or not it will depend on maybe someone is stupid it might be you it might be the other person i have got no idea so the next question says how do you uh learn to open up to your partner uh give given you really can't love 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 oh and me um my love i just feel like if you can't feel uh comfortable enough to open up to your partner sometimes that relationship is not really good because remember your partner i personally believe like you guys are one person so there's nothing i cannot express with my husband i tell him every and anything like you know the stupidest dumbest thing like i am able to talk to him so if you're is it a matter of you are intimidated by him is it a matter of you are afraid of how is he going to look at you how is he going to act after you tell him like what you tell him then it means that there's a bit of trust issue there and um you need to look into that relationship because at the end of the day i i can't be open to my dad but my husband i need to be very much open because this is someone i'm going to spend the rest of my life with and obviously i don't believe you just date for dating i mean you date thinking like this can go to somewhere so if you end up getting married to this person is someone that you cannot open up to that relationship is not going to last because communication in a relationship is key so you need to be careful about that sit down and find out why can't you open up to your partner um if it's a matter of you see that like he's violent or he's just you don't trust this intent move on 2020 is in less than four months okay so the next one says why are you not following me back guys stop <laughs> the next one says uh will i remain anonymous yes i did answer this one i can't remember if she came back or not but i will keep uh, people anonymous obviously um the next one says how do you balance having your social life and being with your man wow honey when you find that answer go ahead and come back to me honestly i i i don't have a social life like my social life is via youtube which i can't even say it's a social life i get invited to stuff oh my gosh and i'm just always like <laughs> like i'm just so attached to my husband you guys can you believe that like, i can't even go and do my nails without my husband i when i go to do my nails my husband will be there with me whenever i want to go buy makeup or anything i'll be with my i'm with my husband like 
24 7 unless if he said work if he said work he said work but if not he's here at home if he's going somewhere we're going together we always but i know when it comes to like work related stuff but other than that we're together and i know it's not good because you do need to have life outside that which is why like now i'm gonna be obviously going to therapy so i feel like that's someone that i will talk but you guys know i have limit unlimited calls so i do like talk a lot like to my sisters my cousins um so we talk about everything but other than that honestly i don't have a social life i don't even really have like friends friends that i'd be like oh we're so tight we're constantly together i don't have that my friend is my husband um and i know it's not too good but ah like we are so close you guys like my husband is my best friend and that's why like it, it makes life so much easy so the next one says what do, what to do when a guy never talks about himself slash his life at all uh if you've been dating if you're newly dating i feel like it's normal guys will take time to open up but if you've been dating for over a year and five months uh a year and a half and the person it's like still not opening up then there's a problem you need to find out like what's happening and obviously take the advice that i said at first you need to ease up on it use that bedroom boom boom okay that bed it has many jobs so the next one says um how long do you think someone should stay in a relationship before marriage uh for me i personally feel like honestly you can even stay a week if you want uh, but I would definitely say if a guy is dating you and it's a year and a half He has not already started talking of like, you know marriage I mean, I know maybe you guys will be dating in uni. You're still young whatever He's not going to go ahead and marry you immediately, but if you are of age and um, You know, maybe like you're just still together. You're going on. Like, I don't know how to say this like even if you're not getting married like it should be in the discussions um at least in one year six months and after that like if it's not you need to obviously start asking the relevant questions so that you don't waste your time then three years wow i i like wow like i would i, 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 I obviously I would, sh I would be even shocked with that but um i'll go ahead and give you guys an example i remember in 2013 my husband and i actually said and we we, we were speaking about speaking about our wedding well like, we're going to actually get married on the 24th of september 2017 um i think it was a saturday for sure we said and we even checked the calendar now obviously the 24th of september is our anniversary so we're like on our anniversary we're going to be getting married blah 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 we ended up actually getting married on the 21st of june 2017 but um i mean you know it, it was something that was like being spoken so i knew his intentions and everything like that um so i would say if you're in a relationship for three years wow well, three years is even like really long eh? if it gets to two years and you guys not saying anything give him another six months and you know ask like what are you in not even ask like you ask from one year six months you find out and then two years in i mean you need to start like you know two years and a half we'll pick your bags and leave like you ain't a cause i know some people are laughing you're not a cause that has to be started so the next one says can a 16 year old girl date how can one know the right guy boo boo if you're 16 years old you still need to be watching cartoon and just living your life the relationship stress will shire you to a point of you know what i have no idea i wouldn't advise a 16 year old to date i'd personally say maybe you can start dating when you're like 18 but even 18 is still young for me like when i think of the relationship stress and everything like i feel like you know if i knew i was going to keep my innocence for longer because relationships are stress uh, so you're still very young boo boo. You don't need to be dating nobody at 16 uh, The next one says how do you always have time for your partner and still balance your work and being a wife guys? Honestly, it's a full-time job. I do not even want to lie That's why when I say I have a good marriage. I'm in a happy marriage. I'm super proud of that is what I put I put in the work um, We do a lot of sacrifices um, And of course like you know, obviously you guys know my absolute schedule is crazy look at that it's to two right now and i'm recording why because i had to spend some time with my husband and he obviously has to go to bed because he has to go to work tomorrow so uh, it's a lot of things you guys like it's just a matter of not being selfish 
and um, thinking for the next person so the same way I think for him he also thinks for me so it makes life a lot more easy for me but if I got someone that was not understanding or whatever like that like it would really be a problem so I think uh, just to say your, to answer like your question it's a lot of work I'm constantly busy um, you find time if you love someone you make time you find time it has to happen if it means you have to be recording videos at 2 a.m. edit and go to bed at 6 or 7 in the morning then it's what has to be done <laughs> The next question says, how do I know he's the one? Hey, oh me, I love you. I love you too. I already answered that. I think I should just do a video on how to know he's the one. And I'll give you guys like certain tricks and tricks that I actually saw with my husband. As I said, if you want that, go ahead and comment down below. The next one said, what would you tell your 21-year-old self? Oh my gosh. And can you believe at 21, I already found my husband? I would definitely say that um, I would tell my 21-year-old that bigger is the one. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I treated my husband so badly in the beginning of our relationship. Um, I had anger issues and stuff, you know, and so I think I used to take that out on him Like honestly, that still breaks my heart. Whenever I think of that sometimes like I treat him so good He'll be like, babe, what's up? I'm trying to make up, you know, for things that happened like almost eight years ago But uh, I'll just say that he's the one cause wow, my husband is amazing you guys um, and again another thing that I would just say to, at 21 I told I had definitely like met my husband So let's say maybe my, my 20 year old. I would definitely say like this guy's a jack uh, You know and on top of that Life is not that serious like everything is going to be okay. I feel like we stress so much on like am I going to be okay? Am I even going to get married? Am I even going to get the one? You will get the one you just need to stop being stupid and wasting your time with wrong people That's it uh, the next one says do you believe in a second chance a relationship like you talk about you're talking about after getting cheated on I've never stayed with anyone that cheated on me uh, So no, I really don't when it comes to cheating. No, I do believe in second chances if like there was never cheating involved Maybe you guys just had disagreements which happens sometimes you're stupid sometimes you're young someone some people do not know is that in our relationship i have broken up with my husband once and we broke up i think it was for like a month a month or a month yeah a month uh maybe a month and a half a month i think somewhere there it was horrible and that really actually made both of us actually see that this life ain't jack without each other ever since then you guys that was in 2014 even till today we don't play around those words like i want to live blah 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 we say that when we whatever like we're playing but not like in a serious way because life is miserable for me without my husband and it's the same way with him so i if it, there was cheating no i don't believe in second chance if there was no cheating then yeah i do believe in second chance and i know that people that believe like okay if he cheated i'm gonna stay with him i'd say okay sure if you want to stay stay but be picking your bags in your mind, you know, because he is going to cheat on you again. It's like that. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Um, unless if like he gets baptized, I do not know. By the end of the day, even them church boys be doing the most. So that's just my advice, you guys. I don't believe like cheaters change. The next one says, it's not a question, but I love you, sister Wami. Ah, I love you too. This is Rosani. Obviously, I can say because it was not a question. Uh, I love you too. Uh, the next one says my plea is happy. It's in the video guys. He's going to work tomorrow. Look at the time So obviously it's resting. I'm sure like next time We if you guys want him to also answer some questions. He absolutely can. These are the questions that I actually got you guys and wow <laughs> Like they were a lot. I do hope that uh, I answered them well. I tried obviously to be fast. Obviously you can see this video is already long but um for me, I always just say everyone's relationship is unique. We go through different things and obviously we prefer different things. But for me, I feel like in every single relationship, there should be respect and obviously love. That's it. And the love should be from your man. The respect should be from you. Some of you be out there trying to get people you love and uh, even the Bible didn't say that. As a woman, you can easily fall in love with a man, but a man does not easily fall in love with a woman so if he ain't in love from the get-go he ain't going to be in love okay so that's how it is anyway do comment down below what did you guys think and um 
if you have more questions go ahead and comment down below i mean i'm sure my ninjas you guys i know we help each other down there so let's go ahead and just do that from you on mission one i love you so so much and i'm sorry like if you get offended of me talking about my husband that i love with all of my heart but of course whenever it comes to relationship it's a huge part because uh, i'm in a relationship with him you know so obviously i'm gonna always like how can i say this revert back to our relationship and everything so my experience is with my husband uh my exes are just like deuces to them you know dust <laughs> so anyway that's it i love you ninjas stay blessed and of course i'll see you guys in my next upload bye ninjas